If you can brew beer at home, then you already have all of the equipment you need to brew hard seltzer. Let me show you how. My name is Martin Keane and on my YouTube channel, The Homebrew Challenge, I brew different types of beer, but I've noticed there's another type of alcoholic beverage that's really gaining popularity, and that's hard seltzer. And before I brew my own, I wanted to see what's out there commercially, and where better place to do that than the Sheets Beer Den. Well, I found a couple of options. I was surprised actually how many different seltzers there are. So um, I've got one here from Truly, which I think are one of the more popular brands, Wild Berry. This one is Mango, uh, both 5% alcohol. Beautifully clear. So uh, see what we get on the aroma. Oh yeah, the fruity mango smell smells great. It's so bubbly. But the the taste is quite subtle, so lots on the aroma. Refreshing, but not overly powering with the taste. Okay, that's what it's supposed to taste like. Uh, see if I can brew one. So this is everything you're gonna need to brew hard seltzer. What we've got here is 19 liters of distilled water. You're going to want to use either distilled water or reverse osmosis water. Uh, if you use tap water, even if it's filtered, it's probably going to come out a little bit too cloudy. So we're going to go with that. We also have some gypsum here, uh, some dry yeast, some DAP, and then this heaped beast here is sugar. So the, uh, the brewing process here is really simple. Basically, we're going to heat up some water, boil it for a little bit, and dissolve the sugar into it. So we'll start off with the distilled water. Then I'm going to add in my gypsum. This is just to add a little bit of calcium into this distilled water. And then I want to bring this thing to a boil. So I'm going to turn on my heat. And while that's heating up, I'm going to dissolve my sugar into here. Now, the purpose of this sugar isn't to make the beer sweet, it's to give the yeast something to eat so that we actually get some alcohol in this thing. So all of this corn sugar will actually be consumed by the yeast and we shouldn't really have any of it left in the finished product. I've moved my kettle underneath my extractor fan and I'm just approaching a boil now. I'm going to leave this boil running for 20 minutes. Now at this point we will have basically brewed alcoholic water. So we're going to want to add a little bit of flavoring into this as well. And I've partnered with Olive Nation to try out some of their extracts in my hard seltzer. So I've got a whole bunch of flavors here, some fruity ones like blue raspberry and pineapple, through to some more out of the box flavors like chocolate chip mint. And I'm going to be adding these in at the very end of the process. And if you want to have a go at this yourself, um, Olive Nation have provided me with a coupon code for a discount on their extracts. That's in the video description below. All right, back to the boil. I'm going to want to get this down to around 68 Fahrenheit, 20 Celsius before pitching the yeast. And we're going to then move this into a fermenter. Uh, you can use whatever fermenter you like, really. Uh, 
the fermentation bucket would be fine as long as you can seal it up and put an airlock in, you're good. I am using a Firmzilla. Um, actually, I quite like this one because it has a floating dip tube, so it'll just be pulling the salsa off the top and leaving the stuff that's on the bottom when fermentation is done. Anyway, I've, um, I've sanitized this with some star sand and now I'm going to get ready to transfer the salsa into here. So I've got four grams here of diammonium phosphate or DAP and this will go just sprinkle into the water and then I've got my yeast as well. So this is US05, it's a dry yeast and uh, I'm just going to pitch this in, just sprinkle it on the top. That's it. I'm going to put my floating dip tube in. For the airlock, I've just filled up a growler with some sanitizer, and then I'm going to go from out here, which is the gas post, into here. So any CO2 will just bubble up in there. Uh, by the way, the gravity for this came out at 10:31, and. Uh, well, I guess this just tastes like sweet water, right? Sugary water, yep, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna ferment this now at 68 Fahrenheit or 20 Celsius for probably about three weeks, then come back, move into cakes. I think it's fair to say we're quite excited to do this, right? Yeah. Yeah, you've got everything laid out Brilliantly. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, my Firmzilla here. The seltzer water is pressurized. So um, before we try any of the flavors, how about we just try the water by itself? Okay. It looks super fizzy. I drink a lot of seltzer. Wow. Okay. Can you hear that? That sounds great. That sound is beautiful. I hope that captures. <laughs> beautiful fizz, nice and clear. It's very clear. All right, let's see what... We get nothing on the aroma. <laughs> I mean, it's water. I mean, it's fizzy, yeah. it's alcoholic, but it's not very exciting to drink. You got the bubbles. You got the bubbles. <laughs> All right, but let's get the, let's get some of the okay. flavors in as well. So can you top me up and then what's, okay. what's coming up first? Uh, first is going to be red raspberry. It is right here. So we should say that maybe if you're making this, you would just like put a bunch of this in the serving vessel. But because we have so many to taste, we're just going to put a drop into these glasses. Okay. Is it going to be seen? Can you hold it up so everyone can see? All right. The color. This is the scientific drop. <gasps> okay. I feel like we need a spoon to mix. Okay. okay. I'm not pouring in it. So I gave you only one milliliter. Milliliter. But I don't think that's going to be strong enough, so I'm going to do two. All right, let's give it a try. Oh man, that's good. Okay. So I did three milliliters. You only did one. Yeah. So color wise, it still. Mine's a little bit darker. Yeah. But my goodness, this is so drinkable. I like that. I'm yeah. already done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bring on the next ones. Uh, next we have Blood Orange. Yes. This is one I'm one of the most I'm looking forward to. Oh, that came out quite milky. Yeah, it is sort of a super milky. Look at that. It really, really is milky. Yeah. Where it looked quite clear in the syringe. Yeah. That's a really strong. Mm, lovely smell. That is just, I mean, I've brewed with blood oranges and that is, it smells like I've just squeezed the blood oranges. Really fresh smelling. <coughs> <laughs> Too strong? <laughs> that was a little bit stronger than the raspberry for me. 
So this is going to be blue raspberry. And it's thick. That's quite thick. Oh my goodness. It Look just at that. sits there. I don't want to stir it. It looks so cool. It looks like a little... It looks like worms <laughs> in mine. I didn't put my full two, out, two milliliters in. Look, it just comes close to the surface. Right, mix it, mix it. Lift it up and mix it. Oh my goodness. Well, let's see what we get on the smell. Mmm, delicious. Oh. Super delicious. <laughs> There's no mistake in that. I did not even have to put that to my... No. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Like, blue Jolly Ranchers are the best. Well, let's try. Blue everything. Actually, blue Jolly Ranchers is a pretty good description of this. Absolutely delicious. It lives up to its flavor. It is legit blue raspberry. Oh, your tongue. Show me your tongue. <laughs> and your teeth. <laughs> well, I don't know how we top that one. Me neither. Because that was really good. And blue tongue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we've washed out some glasses. We're gonna <laughs> gonna go to the next one, which is pumpkin spice in oh. lieu of Thanksgiving and Christmas and fall. Ah. We'll start with one milliliter. All right. Okay. Oh, oh. again, milky. Okay, very um, questionable on what it looks like. Oh man, go ahead and smell it. Tell me what it smells like. <laughs> As advertised, I think it's fair to say, and no mistake. To me, it smells more spicy than pumpkin. Yes, agreed, agreed. Very strong spice smell. That smells like a candle. Oh no. Oh no, I don't. I, actually, it tastes like a candle as well. <laughs> it's not. Oh, that's not. That's not bad because I know so many people would love this. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we went with one more because yeah. this is a strong flavor. This is very strong. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think what we're going to do for you is you're going to smell this one first and then you can tell me if you know what it is. All right. Sounds good. It's a tropical fruit. Mm -hmm. I'm not so good on my tropical fruits, but it smells really, really good. Really good. I'm going with mango. It is mango. Yes, yes. It is premium mango. Oh, well, it has a very premium, premium smell. It does actually have a really um, premium smell. I don't know, let's drink it. Then. Yep. So I have had mango seltzer before, I think. And this is much stronger, so it's, yeah, it is a little bit strong. You know what? Um, I've drunk half. Just top that up. Oh, that is much better. Yeah. Yeah. So. 0.5 for four ounce glass. Yes. <laughs> so one would be good for like 12 ounce glass. Hmm. Okay, well, you have one more for me. Okay, I do. You won't tell me what this one is? No. It looks green. Okay. All right. Comes out kind of thick. What's it smell like? Mouthwash, toothpaste. <laughs> toothpaste? It's very mint. It smells like my favorite ice cream, but I'm so excited. Your favorite ice cream? My, my favorite ice cream. So, mint choc chip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's it taste like? It tastes exactly like mint choc chip, except in drink form instead of ice cream. Yeah. This is quite weird. None. It's like it's a, so good. Like an after eight mint in a glass. Yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I haven't had one of those in a long, long time. So yeah, check out the description. We've got a link to Olive Nation there and you can actually check out all of the different flavors. They have a whole ton. We just got six of them to try. And you can also find my recipe in the description for the hard seltzer as well. Uh, normally we do a cheers. You don't have anything to cheers. No, I have a, a one that doesn't have anything in. Cheers! cheers. <laughs>